Hello my dear friend, in this video lesson we are going to learn how to find the angle in degree from a right angle triangle. All right? I think I forget to make this video while I was making the playlist on trigonometry and one of my beautiful friends from Germany, Red Black Magic, that's her username, she reminded me and it's a really uh, important topic, uh, I think I forget. No problem, let's read once again. Let's say I have a right angle triangle for a while. This is my right angle triangle and uh, let me give some name. Let's say this is A, this is B and this is C. Uh, let's say this is uh, angle C, right? This is angle A and this is angle B which is at right angle. This is 90 degree, okay? And whenever it is a right angle triangle then always keep in mind, always and always keep in mind that it is always following a uh, Pythagorean rule. This always any right angle triangle follows right uh, Pythagorean rule and Pythagorean rule is uh, square of the hypotenuse. Uh, the longest side is always hypotenuse that always you need to keep in mind. Right? This is hypotenuse. Uh, some students uh, uh, you know get confused or I don't know they, they make mistake uh, sometimes they write like uh, perpendicular as 2 meter and hypotenuse as 1 meter or centimeter whatever so always keep in mind hypotenuse should be the longest side insert it properly in your brain that hypotenuse must be always the greatest and about uh, the base and uh, perpendicular that does not matter right uh, maybe base ba base can be bigger or uh, the the perpendicular can be bigger it can be anything right but hypotenuse should be always biggest among uh, uh, among the base and the, uh, and the perpendicular right and the next thing uh, you should be able to find out the perpendicular so when you take the reference uh, let's say you're talking about this angle c all right then that time let's say this is angle alpha and this is angle beta for a while okay when you're talking about angle alpha then that time uh, your base will be this particular this side because this angle is sitting on this base and this in this side BC so that's why this time this is your base and just opposite of this angle will be your perpendicular and I will represent this by P I will represent this by B and I will represent this by H all right and uh, you know that all the all the uh, right angle triangle follow Pythagorean rule so let me write your Pythagorean rule what it is says what it is saying it, it, it always speaks that the square of the hypotenuse is always the sum of a square of perpendicular and base I'm going to say square of AC will be equals to the sum of the square of AB and BC all right so for a while I'm just taking an example let's say this is uh, 5 centimeter so it will be 5 centimeter square all right and uh, let's say AB is for a while 3 centimeter all right so it will be 3 centimeter square and now see here one thing 5 square I know that is 25 uh, centimeter square and 3 centimeter square you might be asking why didn't you write here here is the answer for you just wait 3 centimeter square that's 9 centimeter square so my base should be now what base should be in such a way that it should be 25 after adding this this is 9 already so how much it should be it should be 16 centimeter square then only 9 plus 16 will be 25 so it means this is 4 centimeter square all right now we got 4 centimeter square also okay this is 90 degree uh, this is uh, we don't know how much is beta how much is alpha so now I'm gonna tell you how we can find out the value of alpha how much is alpha and how much is beta how do you get that so to get that this these all the things I told you that was uh, that was just a little concept to clear your doubts if you want to find out alpha or beta uh, you just uh, find out at least one if you find out alpha you can easily find out beta because that's 90 minus alpha all right so I'm just trying to find out alpha so to find out, uh, find, uh, find out the alpha, you can take any trigonometric ratio, any trigonometric ratio like sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, secant, anything you can take. For a while, I'm taking sine, let's say, sine alpha. So what is sine alpha? Any Take any ratio that involves the angle alpha, right? So what is sine alpha? Sine alpha is always the opposite over the hypotenuse or you see perpendicular over the hypotenuse. This is always perpendicular over hypotenuse and in this triangle it will be a b over 
uh, AC all right and then sine alpha equals to what's the value of AB AB is 3 centimeter and AC is how much 5 centimeter so it's 3 over 5 and now uh, from this step or uh, simply you can say alpha equals to I'm not writing there from this step you can simply say alpha equals to sine inverse sine inverse 3 over 5 all right and now you can do in the calculator sine inverse you can uh, you can you can use calculator or or the trigonometric table all right uh, nobody can do this manually uh, people may do the genius people but I can do so I have to use calculator 3 over 5 is 0 0.6 so uh, now from the calculator uh, shift sine inverse uh, 0 0.6 that's uh, 36.86 all right so it's 36.86 degree this is uh, the angle alpha all right so how much we get we get 36.86 degree so if this is 36.86 degree then automatically you can find out beta and this is 90 degree all right so uh, total sum is 180 degree 90 is here so the sum of uh, beta and alpha should be 90 degree so simply you can subtract this 90 minus uh, 36 point sorry 36.86 that will result uh, to 53.13 all right so this angle is 53.13 degree i'll do one more example that will give you more practice and you'll get more concept 